This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. Welcome to the RV Advisor Podcast. My name is Tom Alexander, and joining me today from Sylvan Sport, it is Tom Dempsey. Tom, welcome. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Well, it's uh, it's great to have you and uh, to, to share a little bit about what Sylvan Sport does. Um, first of all, there's been all kinds of levels of growth since you've uh, uh, been at the helm and and um, you know you've got highly qualified engineers, designers, and uh, fabricators in manufacturing, and now you're sort of on the front lines of this battle against uh, this global pandemic, COVID-19. I'd really like to learn a lot about that. What? What? Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Well, sure. Um, you know, as you just mentioned, up until just a couple of weeks ago, we were deploying our team for the purpose of making uh, what we think are really cool campers and outdoor gear of all sorts. Mm -hmm. And as things really began to unravel uh, a few weeks ago, um, we spent about maybe two to three hours <laughs> being somewhat dejected about the prospects for our continued business. And then we quickly pivoted and said, hey, we've got a team of really talented folks that we can redeploy and meet the need that is not being met for healthcare providers and first responders in terms of uh, personal protective equipment or PPE. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we, we shifted the factory team pretty quickly and we, we realized that our supply chain was pretty ideally suited to attack those needs. And we reached out to them both locally, domestically, and internationally, and we really got everybody working on a whole variety of different products that, that are just in critical need right now. Uh, what kinds of products? Um, well, we, we kind of categorize them in terms of what we can make in our factory, mm -hmm. what our supply chain, uh, domestic supply chain can make in their factories, and what our international partners can make in their factories. So this ranges everything from the uh, what is now becoming a commonplace term in our lexicon, the N95 mask, which uh, yeah. is in critical need everywhere. So we're we're working with our international team to get those produced and brought over and delivered to where they're needed most. Right. Uh, we're we're producing in our factory um, uh, clear plastic face shield. Uh, we're also producing some interesting products that are maybe secondary in terms of mindset right now. But, for example, uh, we make this device that allows you to open a door with your foot so you don't have to touch anything. And we made them just internally for our factory so that we could keep our team safe and healthy during this time. Uh, but we found that other people that are in the same boat as us from you know all sorts of public um, uh, organizations to other factories and businesses and schools and banks and hotels yeah. are all uh, really interested in that. So we're making those and um, we're making a really nice quality sneeze guard for uh, businesses to deploy quickly to, to pr help protect their employees. Right. And then, um, and then the uh, kind of the array of um, items, like I mentioned from N95 masks to protective Tyvek type suits for healthcare workers those are those are being shipped to us by our supply chain partners and we're pairing them up with healthcare providers and first responders mm -hmm. who are in great need that, that's that's amazing um, you know that you've you've mobilized your team to be able to provide these kinds of, of needs these products um, and devices and all kinds of stuff that that's so so in demand right now um, y you know really we remember I remember reading in history books in in high school and everything about how the country mobilized during World War two and how there were so many people and companies and factories making things that were a little bit out of their their uh, wheelhouse so to speak and, and and for the for the war effort it almost seems like the entire planet is sort of uh, recalibrating 
and you and your company are doing that very thing right now. It's a, it's amazing. We sure are, and and I uh, I understand what you're uh, what you're mentioning about history. Um, it's inspiring, and um, I'm I almost get emotional, you know, as yeah. as you were you were stating that because it's we're we're called to do this, and um, one of the things that really drove me to shift gears quickly is um, I actually have a background in medical device manufacturing um, hmm. many years ago before I got into the business of making uh, outdoor recreation toys. Uh, I had a company where we made um, very innovative medical devices for emergency responders. In fact, we kind of changed the landscape of how patients were transported at the time, and, and that carries through to this day. But that knowledge about what is necessary to be an FDA-registered medical device manufacturer kind of quickly flooded back into my head, and yeah. um, it was just something we had to do. So. Wow. Well, thank you. And uh, I, I know that there's a lot of people out there that are, are grateful for what you're doing. Uh, we want to learn a whole lot more. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with Tom Dempsey from Sylvan Sport. This is the RV Advisor Podcast, back in a moment. The most experienced RV traveler knows it's important to expect the unexpected. Trust the RV Advisor Roadside Assistance Plan, starting at just $99 per year. It's the industry's most affordable plan and offers the most value compared to competitors, covering RVs, towed vehicles, personal vehicles, horse trailers, bike trailers, and more. Visit the RVAdvisor.com or call 833-229-0911. The RV Advisor Roadside Assistance Plan. Don't hit the road without it. We are back on the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander, and my guest is Tom Dempsey with Sylvan Sport. And uh, Tom is the are you the president, right? Are you the president or the CEO? I'm the CEO. CEO. Okay. And um, we were talking before the break about everything you and your team are doing to provide the most needed resources uh, for, for medical folks who are on the front lines themselves, uh, putting their lives at risk every single day and obviously we can't tell you how much we appreciate those folks but they couldn't do it without a lot of what you're providing and uh it's just a boy it's just heroic work and we really we really appreciate it and normally sylvan sport as you said is 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 you know kind of uh you know with rvs and everything very much a, a major part of that but now you've had to recalibrate and and you're you're really doing something for for everybody um tell us a little bit about your some of your alliances i know on during the break we were chatting a little bit about a group in uh in that western north carolina uh yes well the the need is the need is national and even international but uh yeah. um you know our company is able to provide quantities, I think, that initially meet the need in this region, and then we're reaching out beyond that. And one of our great partners in this region is an organization called Dogwood Health Trust, mm -hmm. and they're a nonprofit that uh, was established uh, in concert with uh, HCA, or Health, Health Hospital Corporation of America, but they're, they're working to essentially uh, play quarterback and meet the supply to the demand so there's companies like us and many others in our region that have made this shift and there's many many dozens if not hundreds of, of organizations that range from county ems providers up to regional hospitals and local hospitals and local health care providers and, and so dogwood is doing a great job of um helping to coordinate that mm -hmm. so that so that when we finish a piece of protective gear it almost immediately leaves our dock and goes to the organization that needs it most. And let me ask you, your team right now, how many people would you say are are involved on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, we have 22 people here that we've kind of redirected mm -hmm. just about completely to this project. And yeah. I was walking through the factory just shortly before talking with you because we're 
you know, where the innovation is on full display. I mean, we just took some machines and disassembled them and reassembled them with foot pedals. I mean, yeah. really clever things the engineers are doing. But right. but what what I mo- what I most noticed in walking through the factory is, um, it, it's almost a little eerie. Some of our uh, our Sylvan Sport Go and the Sylvan Sport Vast, two of our RVs. Um, the assembly lines are, you know, stopped in their tracks, and those folks were redeployed onto the uh, the healthcare product needs. How, how's that adjustment been? I, I know that some of the, you know, folks, you know, when you're really uh, kind of lockstep in, in place with trying to, okay, this is what I do on a daily basis. This now suddenly that big shift occurs. How's the transition been? Well, it. Um, it's been truly overwhelming on, on many fronts. I mean, just from the workload standpoint, it's uh, been tremendous. Yeah. Uh, but it's been tremendous emotionally from many levels. One, the, the team has so thoroughly embraced it. I mean, everyone is working feverishly because they, they know the mission we're on, and, um, and that's gratifying. And it's also gratifying to see so many partners, folks in our local community, yeah. uh, folks in our supply chain that are kind of stepping in and saying, hey, what can we do to help? And and here's here's a service. And um, what's so cool to us is we're so busy, we haven't even had time to think about a lot of those things. And so when they, they come and make these offers to help in some fashion or another, and we realize, oh my gosh, yes, that is definitely something we need. It's, it's just that's the kind of stuff that brings out the best in humanity yep. and really makes this feel like we're doing something worthwhile. Well, you know, there's another World War II reference, and uh, Winston Churchill said this is their finest hour. This is our finest hour. And, you know, we're seeing that. We're seeing that from so many different people, and we're seeing it from you and your uh, your team um, that are doing things um, that are just, you know again heroic it's the only word i can think of it's it's just it's just a tremendous uh, mission that you're on to to uh to really save lives literally save lives i mean i don't think there's any you know we we, we all of us may be guilty of bragging about our work right or we say hey look at check this out or check that out i, I guilty as charged i know i've i've certainly done it in my lifetime but when you're out there saving lives um, and making a difference in the world. Um, it, it's just, I can't think of anything more admirable and honorable. And so thank you. Uh, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Tom, thanks for the opportunity. And, and to use your World War II analogy from earlier, Yeah, I mean, we're, we're making the ammunition, and the nurses and doctors on the front lines are the true heroes. Yeah. We're just supplying them with the tools they need to do their jobs, and they're the ones that inspire us to do what we do. So they they are the true heroes, and anything we can do to help is is all you know is the least we can do. Well, so yeah. Thank well, you for the opportunity. Well, listen, we're we're all a team, and uh, thank you for your your part in in uh, making the team work. And um, um, if you can share with with the folks uh, where they can go, uh, I know Sylvan sport.com that's s y l v a n sport.com um to learn more about what your company does but if there's if they want to learn more about what's happening now is there a place to go we actually have um we created a special page on sylvan sport.com mm-hmm. that is accessible from the home page and it can lead people to the individual uh items uh it's currently being populated by the hour with more and more items right but um that is a a good starting point terrific and can folks are folks uh, able to help out in some way donate or anything is there is there something for them there well i would suggest that um you donate to your regional uh small health care providers in terms of emergency response is really the front line yeah. Um, and those organizations tend to be less able to access the gear they need right now. The mm-hmm. larger hospitals and things are, are better suited to get what they need. So anything you can do to support your local emergency responders is probably my best suggestion I could make there. Terrific. Well, we absolutely echo that. Uh, Tom Dempsey, CEO of Sylvan 
sport. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. It's been my pleasure, and everybody hang in there and, and be tough. Being tough, absolutely. It's, that's critical. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander. So long, everybody.